Okay, so in this Android Studio tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this custom button where you can activate it, you can click on it, and it makes a custom animation as a real button. And uh, let's get started immediately by creating a new project, which I just cost, called a custom button tutorial. And once you have that, we're going to go to our drawable file, and we are going to create a new. We're going to create a new drawable file, and uh, we're just going to name it to custom button. And the root element is going to be a selector, and we're going to click on OK. And here's where we're going to do the magic. It's going to be essentially an animation. So get uh, three images that are your button, and place them inside your drawable folder. And here we're going to start off by writing item. And then we're going to want to refer to the drawable for the inactive button. So I named it inactive for the grayed out button. And we're going to go to state enabled and assign it to false. Then we're just going to copy and paste this three times, or as many times as you need, as many animations as you have. And we're going to change the ID of each one to the corresponding images in the drawable file. And we're going to change state pressed to true for one of them and state pressed to false for the second one. So that's what gives it the animation, and these are the uh, attributes that just make it very simple. And it, the new Android Studio actually has this kind of test uh, toolbar, so you can just click on those where it says pressed, and you can actually test it out, which is great. But after that, we're going to go to our XML file, and just to keep things simple, as always, I'm just going to fill it in with a uh, copy and paste, but I'll just explain what I did. I made a relative layout to keep things simple, and then I added a button and a switch, and I gave that an ID of custom button and used the background as our resource file that we just created of custom button. And then, I mean, it's just a switch and a button essentially. So let's go to our main activity file and uh, link it up to the code itself. So we're going to start with the switch, which is uh, switch.set on listener, so we can actually update it. And then we're going to assign the button it to uh, be enabled only if the switch is not checked. So if the switch is not checked, your button will be enabled. And uh, let's just test it out. And yeah, it, it works just as uh, it should. It's a nice animation. It could make your app look really good. And uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. I hope it helps. Uh, if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, just uh, let me know in the comments.